Hello and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today's video is not a technical video, it's not an educational video, it's actually a video about the lack of education and technical information available from companies who manufacture AR-15s. Specifically, those companies are FN, LWRCI, Ruger, Smith & Wesson, and Springfield Armory. I've reached out to those companies um, trying to seek out armors classes and was turned down and the reason I was turned down is because I don't meet their strict uh, guidelines for attendance. Uh, those guidelines between all of those companies essentially boil down to this. If you're not military, law enforcement, or some type of security or government contractor, you're not eligible. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in taking a class and you fall under those strict guidelines, you can take a class from them. If you're not like me, you can't attend doesn't matter if you hold a permit to carry which shows you're a law-abiding citizen it doesn't matter if you are a gun dealer and possess an FFL it doesn't matter if you're an armor or a gunsmith that work on guns all the time for a living um, it doesn't matter if you are an instructor who teach people how to safely handle and fire uh, firearms you're not eligible um, and there's really no exceptions to it that I'm aware of I wouldn't try to pull strings if there was because I don't think that I'm special as a instructor of the AR-15, I try to stay sharp on my knowledge and therefore I will take classes anywhere that I can get them. A lot of people have questioned me about this. They're like, well, what do you have to learn from other courses? A lot. And I don't know what I don't know if I don't take the course. So if you get to the point in your, um, your firearms education where you think you know everything there is to know, um, you really should reassess that. You never know everything. Um, I certainly don't, and uh, I want to keep that knowledge sharp. So I maybe I won't learn a bunch of stuff from a course, but I always take something away from a course. I've taken courses from Colt. I've taken Colt courses from Sons of Liberty Gunworks, and I've taken courses from LaRue Tactical. All great courses, ones that you should uh, consider taking yourself. Um, I'm slated to take courses from... Double Star and IWI this year, and um, possibly from some other sources. I might take a SIG class if I can find one, um, and I might also try to get onto uh, more less available classes that I'm working on, but um, that's to be seen. So, some people will claim that I'm making this video so you can boycott them. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm trying to say is there is a veil that has gone on in the gun industry for a long time. Um, with manufacturers and for the most part all the ones that I mentioned that won't let regular people take their classes Their customer base is the civilian market. It's not government sales So for any of them uh, any of those companies besides FN which does government sales uh, It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to say we're only going to teach to military law enforcement and security companies it just it doesn't hold water. Some people will say that it has to do with uh, liability and insurance. They're worried about training people that are not eligible or criminals. They can't possess guns. Well, I've taken classes where I had to show that I wasn't a prohibited person by either supplying a copy of my FFL or my carry permit. Um, so there's there. I'm not saying that companies can't be concerned about people using information wrong, um, but there's always ways to shut that down. And if you're worried about what people will do with information, then um, maybe don't even make it available to the government entities because, in my opinion, those people are no more responsible than regular Joe Blow. I trained everybody under the sun, and um, I'm sorry, law enforcement and military personnel are not smarter, sharper, or anything when it comes to firearms than the general public. That may ruffle some feathers. I teach law enforcement. Uh, I don't cater to agencies. I don't hold private classes for law enforcement only. My classes are intermingled. So we might have some active duty military. We might have some active duty law enforcement. We got some regular shows just like me in class. Um, there are other instructors who started teaching, like I do, that started out teaching Joe Blows, got their company started, and now I teach law enforcement. Um, I'm not going to say that that's wrong, but that's not what I would do. But I try to stay a perpetual student, and I try to emphasize to everyone who watches my work, comes to my classes, uh, it participates in my, my social communities on Facebook, Instagram, uh, wherever you interact with me, to continue to try to get educated 
in firearms, whether it be active training with your firearms or educational on the technical side. Never stop learning. And every company who has a policy like this, they're putting a veil up between you and the product that you're potentially going to own or may already own. Um, I'm not making this as an advertisement for my courses. I'm not saying everybody sucks and you should come to me because I'll teach you if you're not a special person. Um, I think you should take other classes besides mine. If you're interested in my class, I would love to have you. But that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I think that you, if you're not a special class of individuals, should be able to take these armorers classes. So, um, I'm not having fun making this video. Um, I'm going to make some enemies making this video. And I make enemies with lots of the videos that I make. It's never my intention. Um, but I hope in the end, the companies that we're talking about here reconsider their policies. And you should possibly contact them and nicely tell them, you know, I'd really like to take your course. You should reevaluate your policies and uh, make some changes because if we're interested in your product, you should be willing to teach us about your product. As always, thanks for watching.